Customizing your Lightbox is an effective way to signal to your users how you want them to log in and interact with your calendar. During this Localist lesson, we'll be showing you how you can make sure your Lightbox reflects your organization's needs. The first customization is a basic one. If you have a Shibboleth or CAS single sign-on configured, you will see an additional login button appear in your Lightbox. By default, it says Login with School ID, but you can change the button to match the messaging your community expects. For example, I've changed it to login as localist staff here. If you're interested in customizing the language of your single sign-on button, please email support at localist.com as this can only be changed on our end. Beyond changing your single sign-on call to action language, you are able to use our theme editor to add custom messaging throughout the login light box. To get started, log into your localist admin dashboard. In the left side navigation, select settings, then appearance. On the Appearance page, select the code icon for your active theme. This will take you to the theme editor where you will find all of the HTML files for your platform. Scroll down the list of files until you see the header, Modals. We'll be working in the files, Login Message and Login Methods. First up is Login Message. If you'd like to modify the default opening message that you see here, this is the place to do so. All you need to do is swap out the text and make sure to keep the opening and closing P tags in place and then click Save Changes. All the files in the theme editor support full HTML, so code away if necessary. Additionally, since this falls just above the email address and password fields, this is also a great place to direct people to use those fields for logging in via localist local method or through LDAP single sign-on. Now let's skip down the light box just a bit and revisit that single sign-on button we had changed to say login as localist staff. While tweaking the call to action language often does the trick, if you'd like to add messaging above this button, you can do so by jumping over to the login methods file. This file has much more code in it, but don't be intimidated. To add content in between the local login fields and your single sign-on button, add a new line between the current lines two and three of an unedited file. From there, just add the desired HTML on the new line three. This code can be as simple as text wrapped in P tags as you see here. If you'd like to add a similar directive, but for the social media set, scroll down to line 14 of the same unedited template. Remember, as you add new lines like you would for the single sign-on messaging I just showed, any lines below will numerically increase. If that's the case, you'll just be looking for the line before the Facebook login code. This is a great place to let your outside community know that they are not only welcome to create accounts on the platform, that, but that it is encouraged by your organization. Finally, another space for customization is after all of the login options. This space is ideal for privacy statements, disclaimers, or longer FAQs about your platform. In the same login methods template that we've been working in, scroll down to the end of the code. Add a new line in between lines 29 and 30 of an unedited template. This will be immediately after the LinkedIn login code ends. Just as before, if you're just entering text, don't forget those P tags or feel free to flex your design muscle. Well, that's all folks. You can read through our single sign-on guide at support.localist.com slash single dash sign dash on, or you can learn more about the theme editor at support.localist.com slash theme dash editor. As always, if you have any questions, you can connect directly with the Localist team by emailing support at localist.com. Now go forth and show those users where and how to best log in.